All right, we are moving into our next week of vocabulary. On the screen, you should see all of our vocabulary words for this week. Remember, your assessment is on Friday, and it's on Canvas. It's not in your packet, so you have to log into Canvas on Friday and take the assessment. What we are going to go through today are all of our words and all of the definitions of our new vocabulary words. So first, let's go through all of our words. Repeat them after me. Bouquet. Emotion. Encircle. Express. Fussy. Portrait. Sparkles. And whirl. All right, now let's figure out what each of those words mean. So we'll start with bouquet. Bouquet, I assembled the beautiful flowers into a bouquet. Definition or define the word bouquet. A bouquet is a bunch of picked flowers. There's our example again. Yesterday I went to the store and I bought a new bouquet of flowers. So I just bought a bunch of flowers that were already grouped together that someone else had picked and I put them in a glass vase. So you can find bouquets at grocery stores. You can go pick them yourself. How does a bouquet look, smell, and feel? So think about that question. How does a bouquet look, smell, and feel? Next word, emotion. An emotion is a strong feeling such as love, hate, happiness, sorrow, or fear. So we feel all kinds of emotions throughout our life or even just in our day. Example, surprise is a strong emotion that people often gasp out loud. Ask, what is an emotion you felt today? What is an emotion that you felt? Think about that question. Let's see, an emotion I felt today was happy because I got to drink, drink my coffee this morning and we all know how much I love my coffee. Next word, encircle. To encircle means to surround or form a circle around. So if we are to encircle something, we would form a circle around it. So we might encircle our desks in our classroom. We could all stand around in a circle. Example, the children held hands to encircle the tree. Or maybe when we sit on the carpet for read alouds or when I'm doing some math on the carpet, we encircle the carpet. We sit in a circle around the carpet. Ask, how is, a, how is encircle? Similar to approach. Remember, similar means same, or they have some of the same characteristics. They don't have to be exactly the same. So how is encircle similar to approach? Express. To express means to say or show something. Tito made a picture to express his love of color. How would you express your love of singing? If you love to sing, how would you express that? Fussy. Fussy means hard or to please or picky. Fussy Mr. Green stood in front of the mirror until his bow tie looked perfect. What is a synonym for fussy? Think about that question. Synonym means same. So what is a word that means the same thing as fussy? Portraits. Portraits are pictures of people usually showing only the face and upper part of the body. This week, Anne's art class is drawing portraits of themselves and each other. What portraits might you see hanging in the White House? So if you were to go visit the White House, what pictures would you see or what portraits, which are pictures of people, would you see hanging there? Sparkles, I like this word. <clears throat> something that sparkles shines in quick, bright flashes. So you might wear something sparkly that shines in quick, bright flashes. The gold beaded curtain sparkles in the light. Name some other things that sparkle. What are some things that you have that might sparkle? And our last word, whirl. To whirl means to turn or spin around rapidly. The dancers were able to whirl and twirl without getting dizzy. What is a synonym for whirl? So what's a word that means the same thing as whirl? All right, what you are going to do now is you are going to do page five of your vocabulary packet. It has all of the words at the top, and then you need to match them. So number one, paintings or photographs of a person. Which word means paintings or photographs of a person? It is, I'll give you one, portraits, which is F. So you're going to draw a line from one to F. And then part B says, choose two vocabulary words from the box above. Use each word in a sentence of your own. All right? 
So you're going to choose two words, and then you're going to write a sentence using each word in your own words. All right, come back tomorrow for Vocabulary Day 2.